So Dr. Smith had a very successful practice, seven ops, and he runs a very tight ship. But as we're going to discover through this story, even the most well-run practices can fall prey to cyber criminals. Now, one Tuesday afternoon, Lisa, his office manager, received an email that appeared to be from one of their regular suppliers. The email contained an invoice for what was supposed to be a recent order of dental supplies. Lisa didn't realize she just opened the email and clicked on it, clicked on the attachment to review the invoice. But unknown to Lisa, the attachment was not an invoice, but malware disguised as one. Once the file was opened, the malware silently embedded itself into the practice's computer network, and over the next few days, it went unnoticed, quietly gathering information and spreading it throughout the system. So the cyber criminals behind the attack really just took their time surveying the network and planning their next move. That Friday, Dr. Smith and his team arrived at the office to find all of the computers locked, and there was a message saying, your files have been encrypted, pay $50,000 in Bitcoin to recover them. So obviously this was a ransomware. Now, of course, panic ensued. Dr. Smith called his IT support and the IT team came in and really worked tirelessly to try to restore from the backups. But then they found that the backups had been failing for months and there was no recent data to recover. The IT continued to work, to try to decrypt the files, but they were not able to do so. So the practice was now really even more so at mercy of the cyber criminals. So Dr. Smith decided to pay the ransom. However, that really wasn't an easy task. He'd never dealt in Bitcoin before and obtaining it was just another hurdle. It took several days to navigate this whole ordeal. And, but in the end, they finally were given the decryption key. However, even though the IT team was able to work and recover most of the data, some valuable data was still lost. Now, in the aftermath, Dr. Smith calculated that the total loss the practice had incurred was $187,000. This included paying the ransom, recovery costs, lost wages, and lost operatory time. This was a staggering amount, even for this size of a dental practice. So this is a really harsh lesson for Dr. Smith's team. And it really highlighted the importance of constantly trying to learn about what types of security measures you should have in place, understanding that even though you have backups, they should be tested. And it's important, obviously, to train your staff because even simple security awareness training could have helped Lisa uncover that that was a phishing email and could have prevented this whole ordeal.